26 January 2012. Even as the country celebrated its status as a free and sovereign republic, there were severe restrictions that were placed on the usage of internet in the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir. The authorities would later claim that the step was a mere precautionary measure. The incident would later emerge as the first recorded instance of a government-enforced internet shutdown in contemporary India. Throughout documented history, the powers that be have employed various mechanisms of censorship to curtail expression in a society. This may include the banning or withdrawal of popular media, segregation of population, or as is in contemporary times, the shutting off of access to sources of information. This effectively renders the citizenry inert, as it no longer permits them to articulate, organize, or protest. The internet is the very bedrock of modern society. Citizens around the world rely on it for exchange of information, travel, conduct of businesses, purposes of banking, learning, and in general, to be present in the world. In a circumstance like this, an enforced lack of access can constitute a tremendous violation of a fundamental right. An internet shutdown is a disruption of internet services, rendering them inaccessible for a specific population or within a location, often to exert control over the flow of information. On August 4th, the territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh were brought to a brutal halt when internet services in the region were shut down abruptly. This would later turn out to be the most stringent and longest internet shutdown in history. The desire to control is universal. The authorities everywhere would like to have control. Whether it is the control over the free flow of information, or about the narrative, or about what people's, uh, what you and I would call free speech and expression and right to dissent or right to offend. Since the first instance in 2012, India has enforced 453 internet shutdowns, with the annual count doubling every year. Experts agree that this is in line with a growing and worrisome trend 